Get the vehicle you want at The Car Company in Warsaw. You'll find more makes, models, colors, and styles of high-quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs at half the price of new. And now your new full-line Suzuki dealership for motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. The Car Company on US 30 East in Warsaw. Lake City TV. Local. Dependable. On demand. Democrat Evan Bayh won't make a run in 2016 for a return to the governor's office. The former U.S. senator and two-term governor says he hopes his decision will enable others to step forward. Bayh still has nearly $10 million in his campaign fund. A Middlebury trailer maker is being recognized as one of the nation's fastest growing private companies. LGS Industries ranked just over 1,000 on Inc.'s 5,000 list, posting revenues last year topping $50 million. According to the Elkhart Truth, that's more than 400 percent increase from what it made in 2010. Employment has also grown in that same time frame from 98 to 360, with plants in Middlebury, Georgia, Utah and Arizona. The company that owns the rights to the Indiana Toll Road has reached an agreement with most of its creditors and might file for bankruptcy and sell the highway's operations to another buyer. As it stands right now, they say the possible bankruptcy and selling, however, is not expected to impact the 150-mile stretch of road. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, mostly cloudy today with rain likely this afternoon, a high in the lower 60s. On Tuesday, mostly sunny and middle 60s for the high. Sunshine in middle 60s on Wednesday, too. Some road closures in Warsaw this week could affect how you get around town. Beginning today, Main Street between Zoe and Cook Streets and Cook Street between Main and Fort Wayne Streets will be closed due to manhole replacement. These streets will be completely closed and emergency traffic will not have access. The project should be finished by Thursday, weather dependent. And a change of command ceremony was held Saturday at the 122nd Fighter Wing in Fort Wayne. Retiring Colonel David Augustine officially handed the reins to Colonel Patrick Renwick. Renwick comes to the 122nd Air Base from the 181st Intelligence Wing in Terre Haute, where he served as vice commander since 2011. From Lake City TV, I'm Terry Armstrong. Have a great afternoon.